Hello guys, welcome to AWS Hands-On. This is the EC2 section of our course. So in this section, we'll be going over the architecture of Elastic Compute Cloud, how it works and what you can use it for. So like you can see, and before we start, um, I should tell you that there'll be no slides, no PowerPoint presentation, it will be all hands-on. So, I mean, if you can just go on and watch this video again and again, if you're not comfortable, uh, with EC2. Cool. So like you can see, I'm in my EC2 console. Uh, to go into EC2 console, I'll go into services and click EC2. So this is the infrastructure as a service, uh, basically, which you call IaaS, uh, just like similar like PaaS and SaaS offering. It's an infrastructure as a service offering. Uh, so if you know what is, I mean, if I have to describe EC2, it's just like a virtual machine, which is running on some guest uh, operating system in the data center in AWS. So like this is my EC2 console and let's go into the running instances. So currently you see, I don't have any running EC2 instance. So EC2 instances, basically you can use uh, for a lot of your workloads. I mean, if you want to run a website, a web application, a database you can use ec2 for that so in this video i'm going to show you how you can create an ec2 instance how you can launch one so it's very simple uh, so the launch instance button i'll just click it uh, aws by default provides a list of amis which is your amazon machine images so basically these are templates which you use uh, an operating system template basically which you use to launch uh, ec2 instances uh, you can have your own custom uh, AMIs as well, like you see in my AMIs. I don't have any, so it's blank. Or there's an AWS marketplace as well for it. And then there's a community. So we'll get to, get to community AMIs later, but uh, for the quick start, we'll just go to quick start, select the first AMI, which is the Amazon Linux. Uh, since this is a free tier account, we'll choose the T2 micro. We'll come to types of EC2 instances, uh, what, what they are and what does this mean. We'll go to configure instance detail, number of instances. We just want one instance networking. So this is, since this is uh, the EC2 section, we, in, uh, we haven't talked about VPC. So we'll be covering VPC in our uh, VPC section. So for now, I'll leave it as default. Subnet also default. I'll leave all the settings as default. I'll tell you what user data is in the next video. Go to add storage. So I don't want any extra storage. If you want to add, suppose, like it says, it's just eight gigs of uh, space right now in my EC2. Once my instance launches, it will have only eight gigs of space. So what if I want it to have 100 GB so I can add another EBS volume? I'll talk about EBS volumes in the later part of the section. So I can add another elastic block storage, basically EBS is called elastic block storage, and I can add it uh, to my EC2 instance, I can give the size whatever I want. Say I want it 100 GB. And once you your instance boots up, you can have this uh, EBS volume available to you. But for now, we don't need it. Let's go to add tags. I don't want to add any tags. So you can tag uh, your EC2 instances. And there are many scenarios where you, want, where you would want to tag your instances. Like suppose you have a production and dev accounts or maybe you are running your prod and dev in the same account. So you can tag your uh, prod instances with a prod tag and your dev instance with the dev, dev tags. And also you can use tags for your uh, cost calculations. And, and there are a lot of uh, scenarios where your tags are very useful. So configuration of security groups. Security groups are nothing. They are basically like uh, firewall, uh, like IP tables in Linux. Uh, it, it works as IP tables. So for now, I am only allowing SSH and from everywhere. This is if you want to allow traffic from internet, this is how you do it. And then review and launch. And then I'll launch. For uh, before you launch, you must have a key pair. So key pair is basically is a private public key pair, which AWS uses for uh, logging into your instance. So there's no username password. It's basically key pair authentication. So I'll select I'll create a new key pair. I'll give it AWS Solution Architect Lab. So this is my key. 
I'll download the key. You must download it because this is the only time you'll be able to download this key. So what AWS is doing uh, behind the scene is it's, it's given you the private key and what it will do with the public key is it will put the public key in the EC2 instances when it launch. So now let's launch the instance. As you can see it's working. Instance is coming up. So I'll just pause the video when my state changes to running and I'll be back. Welcome back guys. So you can see my instance is now running and all the status checks are like two cross two. So I'll tell you what status checks are. You can see there are two types of status checks, system status checks and instance status checks. So I'll let you know in the next video what status checks are. And you can see my instance has got a public IP. So you must be wondering from where it got this public IP. So this we'll discuss when we'll talk about VPCs in the VPC section. So now let me show you how you can SSH into this uh, EC2 instance. So I'll copy the IP. So basically if, if I go to connect, it will give me the complete connection string. So I'll just copy this connection string. I'll go to my CLI and you can see my key is here. So I've changed the permission to 400. Now I'll just copy the connection string again. Something went wrong over there. Let's copy the connection string. Go back, paste it. And if we haven't done anything wrong, it should let us enter the EC2 instance. So you can see I'm into my EC2 instance. Uh, if you want to switch to root user, you just do a sudo hyphen i and you'll get the root user. So this is how you can basically launch an EC2 instance and get into it. In the next video, we'll talk about a lot of things which we didn't talk about in this video, like what are status checks, how do you monitor your uh, EC2 instances, what are the different types of EC2 instances you can launch. So I think this is it for this video. Thank you for watching.